you can play entire songs just using this chord shape. Now you might have heard that. Hey everybody, Johnny Stewart here and welcome to Johnny Stewart's Guitar Lounge. Today I'm going to do my first ever lesson video with my new Vola guitar that I just got at the NAMM show last week and that just came yesterday uh, as of the day that I'm making this video. And yesterday I made an unboxing video, so if you want to see what a fiasco it was for me trying to get the case out of the box and all the other fun stuff in that video, then check that out because parts of it I think are pretty entertaining. But either way, today I'm going to teach you the E9 chord. And that's a chord that's commonly used in funk and blues and rock and all sorts of cool stuff. Jazz. So the E9 chord quickly is this. Now you might have heard that. And you can play entire songs just using this chord shape. It's one of those movable chord shapes like I have talked about before in my other videos and that I like so much, chords that you can play anywhere up the neck. So even though that's the E, then that's the A9. That would be the B9. And then you've got what? You've got a one, four, five built right there. And if you've seen my video on one, four, or five chords and that chord progression and being the basis for about half the songs you hear on the radio, the E9, A9, and B9 probably aren't quite as common as, you know, half the songs you hear on the radio, but you can definitely use them in just about every blues song you've ever heard and certainly a whole lot of funk songs. Now that can also be used as the basis to spring off into all sorts of other cool chord shapes and inversions of other chords, which I will show you in another video. But for today, I'm going to focus on showing you how to make that chord shape that you can move up and down the neck. And I will show you at the seventh fret with the E9, since that's a very common use of that chord shape. For this chord shape, for this nine chord shape to make it movable, we want to get in the habit of not playing that low E string. So we're going to just play our top five strings. So we're going to start by coming all the way up to the seventh fret. We're going to take our middle finger and we're going to put that on our A string on the seventh fret. We're going to take our index finger and put that one string over on the D string on the sixth fret. So those two notes will sound like that, and that's the root and the third of the chord. Now we're going to use our ring finger to make a bar across the top three strings at the seventh fret. And I have other videos on how to make these short bars using your ring finger, and it can take some practice, but you can watch those videos for the tips. And I'll link those videos in this video so you can get there easily if you need some help and some tips on how to make that short bar with your ring finger. But assuming you can do that, again, just as a quick recap, middle finger on the A string at the seventh fret, index finger at the sixth fret on the D string, then on your G string, your B string, and your high E string, you've got that ring finger. So that's the root, the third, the flat seven, which adds a nice funkiness to it. Then that's your nine, and then that's your fifth. And that's how it sounds. Well, okay, everybody, I hope that video was helpful. I hope you can play your nine chords now. Work on that until next time. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos. Check out my other videos for more guitar tips. Like this one if you liked it, because liking videos on YouTube actually does really help to get my video out to other people so that they will see it and hopefully be able to learn from it, too. And please comment below and let me know what else you want to see in Johnny Stewart's Guitar Lounge next time.